Hello and welcome to this small Blender installation introduction. So first we need to download the thing. So you can go to this website which is the GitHub repository and uh, you can also find the wiki for some additional informations as well as all the, the things we are doing on it. First we need to download of course the zip file so let's see, it's downloading, uh, extracting, and I'm going to rename the folder, Blender. You can of course put it where you want, just erase this one. We also need to start an Apache web server and point the document root folder to the Blender folder. I'm using MAMP, uh, which is a simple way on this MacBook to start the things. Uh, so let's choose the root render. Okay. Wait for the server to restart, and then we can start a new tab and point to the local host. In this installation, you need to make sure that you have a database username and password that can access the server locally but also through remotely through the network so I'm just checking so I'm adding a user called Brenda with, uh, with Brenda password and that can access from everywhere so I'm just going to enter the IP address I did it before using the special port number from MAMP but usually you can leave it as is render render and install now everything seems fine so let's go to C alright so now that everything seems working what we need is to check why it looks dead and it's in fact that this server is not the web server is running but the Blender server the one that is going to dispatch all the orders, the jobs and the things to do is not running yet what we need to do is go to a terminal and enter to the same folder so that's I think on my desktop Blender download and start the server we start the server by typing PHP render server so now the server is started we can see that he's trying to delete old orders and just uh, having random numbers that's just to saying he's alive and doing things let's go there and uh, just refresh the page and we can see that the message is gone so the server is running fine we now need some clients to add a client I'm going back to the terminal and I'm launching a new one. Normally this will be on a, on a second machine or third machine. On each machine you need to start a terminal and uh, see where we are. Okay. Desktop, go back to Blender and we do the same, we start Blender with client. Uh, the problem is I don't have a client in the system yet. So, let's go back to the interface and he's saying no clients running click here to add manage this is the clients list we need to add a client this button is going to be our friend add new client I'm just calling it MacBook and I use Mac as the operating system for this client you can have a mixture of Mac, Windows, Linux machines uh, we are not going to talk about the other functions, we talk about it later. So let's just add a new client, saying OK. You can see it's not running. Let's go back to the terminal, and now we can start brand a client and enter the name of the client. Let's say MacBook, saying starting, going back and refreshing. It takes a moment, but we can see it's running. As an additional test, we can also go there and disable the client. Let's see. And yes, it is disabled. 
So enable back and we are ready to render.